happen in the morning. Yeah. Right. And now to tonight's main story. Earlier today, 23-year-old Nancy Tiger Eaton, the great-great-granddaughter of Timothy Eaton, founder of the department store empire, died in her midtown apartment of multiple stab wounds. An arrest has been made, but the identity of the suspect has yet to be released. And in City Hall news, a number... Jesus, all these cuts. Six in my head, four in my back, two in my right hand, nine in my chest. Twenty-one in total. Some cuts hurt more than others. Girls are made of stronger stuff than you think. I was dying three, maybe four hours, and I kept thinking, what if my mother finds me like this? Mother and I had nicknames for each other. I was Tiger, and she was Snubby. As soon as I woke up, I called her. And while I made tea and she had breakfast, we would talk, like girlfriends, every morning, punctually, on the dot of eight o'clock. It's after nine, Tiger. You didn't kick him out, and he kept you up all night again. Good morning. It's a beautiful day today. Who's speaking? If you looked outside, it's a beautiful day today. Who is this? Tiger? When I didn't return her calls, my mother knew something was wrong. Tiger, are you here? My daughter's. She's dead. Where are you? Uh, Farnham Avenue, number four. Apartment 26. What's your name, ma'am? Ma'am, hello? Are you there? Everything in my mother's body just let go, because her mind couldn't contain what was happening. She's dead, I know who did it. She's been murdered, she's dead, and I know who did it. I know who did it too. It was my friend, my childhood friend, Andrew Lation Hughes. Come on, pass the ball. Give it to me. 
Our families had neighboring cottages in the Muskokas, the playground of the Canadian rich. But for me and Andrew, it was a magical place, a candy-colored world we made just for ourselves. I was in Eaton, and for every Canadian, Eaton is a household name. My great-great-grandfather founded a department store empire and later launched a sales catalog that was so popular it was sometimes the only book in the house other than the Bible. We were practically royalty, the merchant aristocracy of Canada. Andrew was part of another Canadian dynasty, the Oslers. Ernest and Sarah, Andrew's teenage parents, almost aborted him, but bailed at the last minute. When Andrew did arrive, it was with the umbilical cord tied around his neck. What do you think you'd like to be when you grow up, Andrew? A cop. I was born partially deaf and I hated wearing my hearing aids. They hurt, but a school for the handicapped was unthinkable for an Eaton, so I was bounced from one school to another. I think I counted 17. The other kids would laugh and make fun of me, so I learned very early in life to swallow my tears. I worked really hard to appear normal, listening and concentrating to the point of exhaustion. <laughs> You should eat something, Daddy. Are you ready? Sometimes, when you don't know the words, you find other ways to tell your parents how bad it feels inside. Tiger. I promise everything's going to be all right. I'm going to take care of you. I love you. When my parents split up, my mother had a card engraved at Burke's that she sent out to all her friends. Mrs. Edward Eaton is delighted to announce that she is no longer Mrs. Edward Eaton. Everyone told her she was crazy, but she didn't care about the money or the Eaton name. Better to be nouveau poor than nouveau riche, she'd say. She had second thoughts later on, but at the time, that really impressed me. Officially, my mother had no income. Unofficially, she had a very rich mother, Grandma Gossage. We call her Grandma Bossage, but not to her face. I hear you made quite a splash for the Governor General at the opening of Massey College last week. <laughs> not according to Zena Cherry. She referred to you in front of everyone at the BNR as Vincent Massey's mistress. I wouldn't be anybody's mistress for a million dollars. I would take the million. I have two on deposit at the National Trust. 
Well, I'll do what I can for you, Snubby. Although you really need a lot more money than I can give you right now. Still, your family. Dinner's ready. It's gonna get cold, come on. So, did he call you back after all? Andrew was a zombie in the early morning after waking, a machine that hadn't been turned on. There were mysterious cycles of aggressive behavior. He would be angelic, a model son for months at a time, and then, without warning, the dam would burst. Your son's violent actions are a cry for help. I think his problems are rooted at home. We're doing our best. I love my son. I love my husband. I love my job. I hate my life. Andrew, what do you have to say about all this? There's always this kind of silence whenever we try to discuss his behavior. Look up when you're being spoken to. Don't be critical, Ernest. I'm just trying you're to help, Sarah. You're always at him. never stop. Andrew, don't you want to say something? There's a lump in my throat. I don't want to say anything to hurt my parents. Oh, don't worry, Andrew. You're not going to hurt them. That's why we're here, is to get things in the open. My, my dad and I, we don't do anything together. No ball games, nothing. Me and him never talk don't know how to. But you have two parents, Andrew. Not really. <sighs> I don't know what to do with you anymore, Andrew. Nothing works. You're 13 years old, for crying out loud. Put these in the washer, I might for work. Flash forward, I'm not a kid anymore. I was a bad girl, and I like bad boys. 
seem to be like a thing with me. In the summer, I didn't mind hanging out with a kid. Andrew was my little brother. He needed me. And I needed to be needed. Hey, Andrew. Andrew. Hey. When did you get up here? Today, this afternoon. You? Last week, I've been spending some time with my dad. What did you hear? Hear what? Um, there's black bears up here this year. Somebody got eaten. Shut up! No way! Yeah? My dad told me. Right on. I want to meet one. <laughs> yeah, right, Andrew. You're such a wuss. No, I'm serious. I take my dad's gun and I bust its fat ass. Then I take my hunting knife and I cut it right down the middle and make myself a bitchin' winter coat. <laughs> yeah, right. You're such a chicken shit. Hey! Hey! No, you're only 13. It's only a beer for Christ's sake. Give me the beer. No. Give me the beer. Mm -mm. Give me the beer. No. Give me the beer. No, God, you're just like a delinquent little brother, you know that? You know, Ow! if I want to be your little brother, you have to learn to love me. Of course. Cross your heart? <laughs> cross your heart? Ow! I crossed my heart. We swam and sailed and did everything together. How was I to know that the boy I became so attached to is going to end my life four years later? We're doing it? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're 95 years old. They're in the divorce court. The judge says, you've been at each other's throats for how long? 75 years. 75 years! Why'd you wait so long to call it quits? And you know what they said? They said, um... Well, we wanted to wait until the kids died. <laughs> you get it? Wait until the kids died, you get it? Reggie, I got it the first time. Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh, did I tell that one before? About six times. Oh, okay. Oh. Excuse me, I have to go to the toilet. when he says that toilet it's so middle class sorry i always turn them off when reggie's around he wants me to marry him that's the point of that stupid joke he keeps telling but he knows you aren't crazy about it you're not going to are you i don't know i might someday you can do way better mom at my age sure I think that you should get a nip and attack any younger f Tiger, he might hear you. <laughs> so what if he does? You know, he's not good enough for you. He'll do fine. He's decent and he loves me. He's older than Dad, for God's sake, and he's still trying to look like Burt Reynolds. Well, I'm only going to need someone to talk to. <laughs> Besides, you're not going to be around forever. You can have a bow of your own one day. You kidding? No, I'm going to stay here and be an old maid with you for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, did I miss anything? No. What are you doing, Dad? Just an attention on this belt here. Can I help? No, I'm fine, Andrew. You'll just get in the way. No, I won't, Dad. I can help. I promise I won't get in the way. <sighs> okay. All right. Why don't you hop behind the wheel? When I tell you, give it a little bit of gas, but only when I tell you to. <sighs> okay. Okay. Slowly now. Give it a bit of gas. A bit more. Okay. A little more. Okay, that's it. 
My hands I'm sorry. Christ. You know what? Thanks for the help, Andrew. I thought I'd manage it from here. Louis outside right now helping him with the car. Can you believe it? I know. It's terrific. Oh, he's even starting to get along well with his father, I know. When he's going for his bronze today, he's really excited. Now it can be a lifesaver, he says. <laughs> you can go do it now. Hey, good luck, honey. Oh, hang on. A Andrew, your Aunt Amy wants to wish you well in your swim test. Andrew! Sorry, Amy, he just sailed right past me like he didn't even hear what I was saying. Why do you have to do this to me, Dad? It wasn't my fault. I don't know. Hang on, Amy. I didn't do anything. All I want to be is your son, Dad. That's all I want to be. Andrew. It wasn't my fault, OK? It was an accident. It wasn't my fault. What is going on out now? here, Andrew? It wasn't my out. fault, and I'm exploding now. Pow, 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 pow. And I'm not stupid, Dad, OK? I am not stupid. Of course you're not stupid. Not, 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 not stupid. Down, Give me a little bit more gas, Angie, you stupid moron. Bam! Down. Cut your hand off! Listen a little bit Andrew, more, Bam! Down. Break your legs! I said a little bit more, you worthless the sack of shit! Bam! Smash out these faces against the garage Andrew, just... door! Get out of here! Don't hit me! Kill me! Kill me! Kill me! Don't hit me! Worried about what Andrew might do next, his parents sought help from three different mental hospitals in Ontario. The doctors decided they couldn't help Andrew, so they cut him loose. Then his parents took him to a renowned and expensive psychiatric facility in the States, desperately hoping someone there could tell them what was wrong with their son. Andrew has a deep-seated canker in his personality. Essentially, he has no conscience. I don't understand. What, what do you mean he has no conscience? Let me put it this way, then. Your son has all the characteristics of a psychopath. A psychopath? We produced a psychopath. I'm most concerned about the possibility that his behavior might escalate in such a way that he does serious harm to himself or others. This is not a case of teenage hormones, as you may have hoped. Your son's behavioral problems will not disappear by themselves. And I strongly recommend that you leave him here with us for observation and treatment. For how long? I honestly don't know. Ten years, maybe longer. You're, you're telling us that you want to lock up our son until 1992. 
Well, and then what? What's supposed to happen? Is he, is he going to come out cured? There is no guarantee. But in my opinion, it is your only hope. It's my little bro. Not so little anymore. <laughs> yeah, like those shoulders. Yeah, you've got no shoulders. You've got nothing in life, baby. How long are you up for? Whole summer. This was the last summer Andrew and I spent together. We had a ritual. Every morning he'd row across the channel to our place. He'd make tea in the kitchen and bring it up to me in bed. I was going to save Andrew that summer. I wanted so much to be the one to save him. Hey, Nancy. What? I had an EGG last week. You had an EGG? Yeah. Like an egg? Yeah, yeah. It tests if you have an egg head, if you've got egg inside your head. <laughs> it's called an EEG, an electroencephalogram. Yeah. It measures the electricity in your brain. Yeah, yeah, whatever. They didn't find any. And, uh... I'm on this new medication, right, to keep me from bouncing off the walls and... God, that would sound completely nuts to someone like you. What is supposed to mean, someone like me? You don't know me. Sure I do, since I was like two or something. Well, yeah, but you don't really know me. I mean, you didn't know that I had a nervous breakdown when I was 12, did you? Shut up. I mean, they didn't have to lock me up in the loony bin or anything, but I was on these pills for like three years. So... Sounds like a zombie. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. You know, so I know what it's like, Andrew. And if you want to talk to me, I'm a really good listener. No. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, come on. Where's my specialty? <laughs> come here. I'm a total loser. I hate who I am. Yeah, I just can't wait to grow up. All my problems will be over. <laughs> I know the feeling. Oh, you should have come in. You're crazy, the one breathing. Oh, you're such a whore. No, 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 I'm not going in. Andrew, please. Just for a second, come in. You're getting so wet. That's good. Oh, ow. Give me a towel, baby. Oh, okay, fine. Come here. Baby, why are you cold? Yeah. Oh my god, look who's all grown up. Stop it. Mary, don't like when I talk to you there. No? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't like it. Don't you like it? <gasps> oh. No, I used to hate being stuck up here. It bored the hell out of me. I really enjoyed it this year. Yeah, it's the best summer I've ever had. I've just been feeling like, you know, my life's not going anywhere. Like I'm missing everything by inches. Sounds like me. I gotta start taking control, you know? Taking care of this. Get a real job my own place, and maybe a real boyfriend, you know? Not some jerk off, someone who love me the way I love him. Yeah, I want a real relationship, something solid, you know? We're not gonna lose each other, will we? What are you talking about? I just wish now could be always. I wish I could die right now. I 
way would be linked together. Forever in a constellation like those stars. We are linked together. When I was 21, I finally went to deaf school. I learned how to sign and became an expert lip reader. Good. Winter. Good. Cold. Just how it looks. Warm. Warm. That's right. Rain. Right? Good. Got a job selling real estate. And I was good at it. Everyone was surprised, especially me. I never really thought I could do anything. Anything I'd get paid for, anyway. And finally, I was a girl with her own apartment. Well, Things were really looking up. For the first time in my life, I had a feeling of self-worth, something I'd never really had before. Uh, I guess I could have been more picky, but, you know, 220 a month from Midtown is pretty damn good. And I think it's got possibilities, don't you? I certainly do. We're going to make it really nice. Yeah. I think I'm going to like it. Good. Oh, God, it's going to be so quiet without you around. Promise you will call every night when you go to bed and every morning when you wake up. I promise. promise. Let's finish up the bedroom. What's that? I don't know. It's for my dad. What does he want? Oh my God, he bought me a car. Oh my God, look, my own license plate. I can't believe that. That's very nice. Andrew stole my new car before I even had a chance to break it in. He took it up north to the family cottage when his parents went on vacation without him again. Andrew's latest escapade landed him in court. He was given 300 hours of community service and sent to yet another mental hospital for assessment. But those experts might just as well have consulted Andrew's horoscope to find out what was wrong with him. When he lashes out like this, he's in a, what we call a dissociative state. It's like he's watching it on TV and his brain is cut off from all reason and restraint. His brain is very high functioning. He knows exactly what he's doing during these violent outbursts. The antisocial personality fits him like a glove. He lies, steals, threatens people at gunpoint. But when you talk to him, he's like the kid next door. Andrew's problems stem from a mental illness, not a personality disorder. And with the right antipsychotic medication, he could be released tomorrow without risk to the public. Medication won't work. If we don't put him away for a very long time, we're going to read about him in the paper someday. I don't believe he's a harmful boy. Put him in group therapy. We'll talk him back into being good. 
I got sick and tired of her telling me that Friday the 13th was an unlucky day, so I took a knife and I stabbed her in the face. And then I went to the movies. <sighs> That's all I want to say about it. Sweet, but I don't buy it. It's total bullshit. He's lying. He's never stabbed anyone. Anne-Marie, don't challenge Andrew. I was a forceps, baby. Me too. <laughs> I didn't breathe for two and a half minutes. I didn't cry for five. I take pills. I get shots up the ass to calm me down. <laughs> you have that too? Yes. <laughs> oh, he's <sound> completely nuts. <laughs> Not me. They let me out here only two more shit-filled weeks. Seriously? You're going home? Home, but not home. What do you mean? <laughs> Meaning my parents don't want me living under the same roof as them. So what are you gonna do? <laughs> We're gonna get so busted. <laughs> Nobody, unless we're down here. Nobody saw us leaving. Seriously, come on. We should get back before lockup. Play a game with me first. You ever play fire? <laughs> what are you, like 12 or something? <laughs> What's fire? You just, basically, you start down here. You just go up and up and up until you find the hot spot. And then you say, I buy. Need some help? Yeah, I think I left my light on. Do you think you could jump me? Okay, start her up. <laughs> Keep her revving. I think uh, I probably keep it running for a while so the battery doesn't die again. Okay. You know, I can't thank you enough you rescued me. It's not a problem. I'd be happy to jump you anytime. <laughs> My baby's gone. She don't know what she's missing. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, stop. baby's gone. She don't know what she's missing. She she <laughs> no, she Since she left that day, I've been getting a whole lot of kissing. <laughs> He's absolutely drop dead gorgeous, kind of face you'd see in a movie. He's like, Sounds like you've been swept off your feet. I totally have. So, what do you know about this gorgeous George? All I need to. His name's Jim. Tiger, what if he has a wife? Two daughters, a parakeet, a home in suburbia. <sighs> Mom, I have some intuition. That's what you said the last time. doing here? Hello, Andrew. I'd like five minutes alone with my son, please. Do you really think that's a good idea? I would like five minutes alone with my son. I'll just be over there.
You guys are making me nervous. Why'd you come up here? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's difficult to know where to begin, Andrew, except to say that, uh, well, we want to try to make it work as a family. Andrew, what you need is a home with love, and, well, we just haven't worked hard enough at it. Well, it's nobody's fault, you know? I just wanted you guys to love me. Well, we want that, too. You're our son. And we do love you, Andrew, we do. You're the only child we've got, and we want you back home. this to you. I don't want you to go. It's only 20 bucks for Christ's sake. It's not about the money. I'll pay you back. I don't know how many times I have to tell you, but you're not going out tonight. You were out every night this week. Last night, you didn't even come home till four in the morning. So I'm too old for this shit. We don't know what you're doing. We don't know who you're with. You're treating me like a goddamn two-year-old. I am trying to treat you like an adult, but it's got to be a two-way street, Andrew. You said things would change. You promised everything was going to be different, and now we're back in the same old routine. Shut up, lady. You're not in school. You're not working. What are you doing? If you're not careful, you're going to end up selling fake Rolex watches on Young Street outside of Eaton's for the rest of your life. You're always saying things to piss me off! This conversation is over. Give me the money! No! Shut up! Andrew! Get him off me! Get him! No, no, no! No, no, no! Mom? Dad? Okay, you get the hell out of this house. This time I mean it, Andrew. You've got five minutes to grab your things and get out! I just want... Get out! Andrew, hi. <laughs> oh, how are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm good. I thought you were getting treatment. I, I was. I'm all better now. Oh, that's great. Hey, yeah, give us a drink. Yeah. Come on. Yeah.
Who is it? It's Andrew. Andrew, have you gone crazy? It's two in the morning. <laughs> no, I've gone sane. Can I come in? No, it's not a good time now. What, is there somebody you don't want me to meet? Not particularly. I just need to talk to you. I'm sorry, I just can't right now. Why not? Because I just can't right now. Call me tomorrow. No problem. I'm sorry. Sorry. You scared the hell out of me. Sorry. How'd you I mean, get in here? I uh, picked the lock. Oh, Andrew, don't you have anywhere to stay? No, no, my parents kicked me out. <sighs> okay, I'm late for work. Look, I'll give you a key to my apartment. You can sleep on the couch for a while. Thanks. Listen, no friends and no drugs, okay? Okay, you won't even know I'm here. Sister, why? You said her name, that's why. What's with you anyway? Listen, if there's something you want to talk about, it's okay, babe. I'll listen. Where are you going? Oh, uh, Andrew, by the way, I would like to tell you that. What the hell, you little bastard? Get the hell out of here! Fucking hands off! The better my life became, the worse things got for Andrew. He dropped out of school and was trying to make his own way, but he was only 16. He couldn't hold down a job and was living hand to mouth on the streets. Oh my God, Jim, you're early. I can't believe it. So walking by, I saw your light in the window. Are you on anything? Well, I look high. Oh, I'm expecting someone. Today's I'm my birthday. <laughs> Today's not your birthday, Andrew. I won't stay long, I promise. <sighs> Fine. 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 But if you're coming in, you're going to be useful. It's a nice tree. Thank you. He's taking me to Chibos and probably will end up at the Barracuda. Are you finished yet? Just about. Don't you think you put enough on already? Let me see. Wait a minute. So I've got no money and no place to stay. <laughs> well, you better get a job in your own apartment because you can't sleep on my couch forever. Why don't you make things work out with Anne-Marie? Maybe move in with her.
You're still good at this. I was taught by an expert. Hello. Hey, Jim. Yeah. Uh, no, okay. Yeah, sure, I understand. It's just that, you know, it's the third time that you've done this to me. Yeah, okay. Sure. Looks like I'm not going anywhere. So can I stay here? Nancy. Don't be silly. It's two o'clock in the morning. And this hide this for me. Why do you want me to hide this in? Because it gets bad inside, and I just want it to stop. loser I could hardly get out of bed in the morning and bit by bit I managed to pull myself together and now things are better okay things can change Andrew they did for me and they will for you too when soon how do you know <sighs> because I know That blanket with the little rabbits on it, do you still have it? Andrew, oh my god. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you guys. You couldn't ring the doorbell? Yeah, I know, I should have called first. You, know, you just can't just waltz into the house whenever you feel like it anymore, Andrew. I'll have the locks changed before we leave tomorrow. Listen, we're doing all we can to help you. We don't have any money for you. We already deposited your allowance. I didn't, I didn't come here for cash. I just, you know, it's a new year, so I was, I was hoping that we could try, you know, at least try to be a family again. And I want to come back home. Oh, honey, we're leaving for Mexico tomorrow. Thanks for the warning. Can I at least stay here while you guys are gone? No. Look, you've trashed this place every time we've left you alone. It's not that we don't want to. We do, honey. It's just... I'm sorry, but what are we supposed to do? I don't know. Uh, well, listen. If you don't screw up while we're gone, maybe we can talk about it when we get back from Mexico. Okay, when's that? January 21st. 
January 21st. No problem. Have a nice trip. Thanks, honey. Send me a postcard. Okay. something of mine. I want something of yours. Mine? Where are you going? No. Good. <laughs> no. <laughs> I want this. 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 Here, give it to me. Show that we're together. I'll tell you what, I'll buy you another one and it'll be a much nicer one. I don't want another one. I don't want this one. You can't have that one. Come on, why not? This was a present from my wife. Men are assholes, aren't they? Yeah. They are dicks because they have dicks. Who <laughs> 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 said that? Me. It sounds like one of your quotes. No, but there are lots of zingers about men. Like what? Oh, there's Somerset Mon. You men, something, something. You're all pigs, filthy, dirty pigs. Mm -mm. All of you, all of you, pigs, pigs, pigs. <laughs> <laughs> a man said that. Well, he was pink as a gay hair now. <laughs> he was what? what? No, pink as a. He was gay as a pink hair now. Oh. He was. He was gay as a pink hair now. And then there's okay. Conrad. Yes. Men are capable of every wickedness. Oh. How's that? Oh. That's good. <laughs> Mommy, I'm cutting. Oh, Andrew. Uh, no, she's not here, I'm afraid. No, I don't know where she is, dear. Yes, I'll tell her. Well, aren't you nice to call? Well, that boy sounds more unhinged by the minute, if you ask me. Yeah, he's a little bananas. You know, I don't like it when he stays in your apartment. Oh, I never do anything to hurt me. You don't know that. I don't know him. He stole your car. That's not forgivable. Remind me not to get on your bad side. Tiger. You need to put some distance between you and that kid. I know. I know. I just, I, I, I feel responsible for him. There's no one else he can talk to. And I can't just abandon him. That's, that's not what I'm saying. Just take him out for coffee. I don't think it's wise that he should stay in your apartment anymore. Huh? Okay. I, I, you're right, okay, I shouldn't. I won't. Promise? I promise. What was that? I promise, okay, Good. I promise. Good, I'm glad that's settled. Yeah, gosh, Oh my too. God, look at this place, looks like a Chinese warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> you feeling better now? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
accept the charges, please. Take up. Say yes. Then Marie, say yes. Yes, Andrew, what time is it? There's screaming inside my head. I don't know what to do. Andrew? Andrew, now listen to me. Do you have enough money to get up here? Get on the first bus, and I'll pick you up at the station in my parents' car, and I'll take you straight over to the center, okay, to see Dr. Smith, okay, baby? I don't know what to do anymore. Hey? I don't know what to do. Andrew! Andrew, I can't, I just can't see you right now, okay? <sighs> Look, uh... There's a group meeting over in the Laidlaw wing in a few minutes. If you hurry, maybe you can catch it. Come on, baby. Let's just go see Laidlaw, okay? Things just don't feel right. I got this wild energy, and it's coiled up inside of me. And I've got two angels on my shoulders, and they're talking to me, okay? They're good and bad angels. And what I'm saying is, is that it's my life. And I don't know what to do about it. Have you been doing anything, Andrew, to work out these intense feelings you've been having? No. Does anyone in the group have any suggestions? Well, uh, whenever I'm feeling like I'm gonna, like, jump out of my skin, uh, I like to play a lot of hockey. Uh, it really helps let the steam off. That's a very helpful suggestion. Why not try taking some extra exercise, Andrew? Why not play some hockey, work out your anxiety that way? What are we doing? Babe, we're going to Toronto. I don't think I want to do that. Listen, why don't we just pick up this shit and head straight back up north? I don't know, I mean, my parents are away for a few days. You know, we can have the place to ourselves, take walks along the lake, come back and scroll all night. Yeah. I could get really into that. You? Just as long as we're together. Hug me. Are you crazy? I could just pull over in the middle of the highway. Hug me. Hug me. Hug me. Hug Baby, me. Baby, listen. Why don't you just put your head on my lap, okay? like this. Yeah, me too. Andrew! Don't let me go, okay? Please. Let go of me. Don't let me go. Andrew, let me go! Please. I love you. No, you don't! I love you! I don't want that type of love! Don't! 
Let's do this! Get off the car. Don't leave me. Don't leave me here, okay? Get away from the car, Andrew! Get away from the this car, way, Andrew! Okay. Andrew, get away! Who's that? It's Andrew. Not tonight, okay? I don't feel good. Well, that makes two of us. Andrew, I've had the shittiest day. I have the worst migraine and I'm sick, okay? So let's just meet for coffee in the morning. Can I just please crash on your couch? I'll stay out of your way. Please. My parents are coming home tomorrow. I know, you told me like five times already. Well, that was before I died. Before you died? Yeah, I died, don't you remember? I killed myself. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I used to think that life was over here and death was over there, but I'm dead already. For real. No me, no I, no nothing. Nobody can see me, nobody can touch me. There's just nothing there. Andrew. Andrew. No. Andrew. What? What the hell are you talking about? Nothing. I was joking. It was a joke. I'll get it. I'll get it. Hello? Nancy's not taking any calls tonight. What the hell? I can't believe you just did that, you little okay. shit. Sorry. Wh Who was it? Jim. What did he say? He said he's sorry and he still loves you and I'll just take you on a romantic cruise to the island and kiss my ass. Piss off. Don't answer. Uh, my mother, I'll get it. I'll talk to her whenever I want to. Hello. Yeah, it was Andrew. He's not he's not sleeping over. No, he he's seeing a therapist. Okay. Okay, fine. My mother wants to talk to you. Yeah. Andrew? It's rough growing up. The world's a tough place, but it's all gonna work out. Trust me. You just have to hang in there, and it'll all turn out fine. Tiger, you've been feeling crummy all day. For goodness sake, kick Andrew out and get a good night's sleep. Okay, I will. And if he won't go, you can always spend the night here. Don't be silly, Mom. I'm fine, okay? Everything's fine. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, I love you too.
with your problems anymore. I'm sick of you being sick. Ten more minutes. Just ten more minutes, okay? Look, I can't do this anymore. This is way too whack for me. You know, I really want to help you, but I feel like shit, and I have to get up in the morning. I'm going to bed. I was just I was hoping to talk. I can't get into your shit right now. Can you just talk to me, please? Can't you just come out here and talk to me? I don't have time for this, and I don't have time for you right now. Don't go to bed angry. I snapped at you. But I got problems too, and you never think of that. Are you all right? Morning. It's a beautiful day today. Who's speaking? If you looked outside, it's a beautiful day today. Who is this?
As Snubby entered my apartment, Andrew slipped out the back door and took my car. He told the cops he was going to drive it over a cliff at Blue Mountain because he felt bad about what he did and he wanted to die. But before he could do it, Tiger broke down. I always forgot to put oil in the engine. The relevant issue at the trial was the state of Andrew's mind. Was he mad or bad or both? Mrs. Lation Hughes, what is the mental state of your son? Mrs. Lation Hughes! It's hard. What is Mrs. Lation Hughes? Raising a child. It's so hard. Have you spoken to your son? In the end, everyone agreed. We find the defendant not guilty by reason of insanity. He will be sent to a mental institution until such time as his illness has been cured. So, we have the knife. She was lying that way and her, on her tummy and her head was turned My mother down. thought I would walk through the door at any minute. I couldn't be dead. I just couldn't. Reenacting the crime was her way of coming to terms with my murder, of trying to make sense of it all. Was stabbing her on the floor in the back, and she went up on the wall. You always think that you're gonna die from natural causes at age 80 or something. I was only 23. I used to think that you'd choose your fate, but you don't. What Andrew did to me just happened. It's hard to see how it could have gone otherwise. My death might have been a tragedy, but my life wasn't. Some stars are so far from the earth that their light reaches us long after they're extinguished. Even though I'm gone, I know that the light that was me is still shining. Nancy Eaton, born May 28th, 1961, died January 21st, 1985. Hi, Andrew. Sorry I'm late. So, why are you here? It's a nice coach. Where'd you get it? Eaton's. Now, why are you here? I'm afraid to go to sleep. I know what I'm gonna dream. So what are your dreams about? 